Nestled in between Union and Hammond is a rite of passage for baseball players in Maine. I think it has a tremendous place in, in, in our baseball history. Mansfield Stadium has hosted international stars and hometown legends. But for the first time in its almost 30 year history, there will be no spring baseball. This is the ultimate form of dis discouragement. And we do it for the kids. And to not have anybody enjoy this facility is really heartbreaking, but we have to do what's right. We have to stay safe. But no baseball doesn't mean the pristine facility will turn into a shaggy sandlot. This field is going to be maintained just as if somebody's playing. We have a certain standard, and this is really a gem. It's a diamond, pardon the pun. The field will be fertilized and edged, but if it's going to last through the summer, the crew needs some help. The crew right now is uh, two 77-year-old guys, double sevens, both of us. And so I do need at least a, an able-bodied younger person. Ron St. Pierre says he's been in contact with Parks and Rec about some extra help. An issue in the short term, but a larger one looms. The lease with Little League is, will be up in two years, and I don't know who's going to follow in our footsteps to maintain the place and keep it looking the way it, it looks. We're all at the end of our, of our career, so somebody else will have to step in. St. Pierre is a volunteer, but he, along with several others, have poured everything into Bangor's baseball cathedral. Even as the future is uncertain, even with no baseball being played, he still gives it his all. People always tell me how nice the field looks. And my response to that is always, you know, look at the guys that are working here. Those are the guys that really make it happen. Yeah, I may direct them. But without those guys, it doesn't happen. At Mansfield Stadium, Andrew Badillo, ABC7, Fox 22.